Hi, I'm Subhashini and Shreya is sleeping under my desk. And today we are here to talk to you about something we've done personally, which has been very new to us. I've actually worked on getting introduced to Google Colab and I'm happy to report that in this week, I have upskilled myself to this really interesting software that is available from the offerings of Google. There are uh, uh, huge advantages of Google Colab over Jupyter Notebook. Now you might ask, why am I comparing it to Jupyter Notebook? And the reason is that this is actually a coordination uh, between Jupyter Notebook and Google. Uh, the first part is it is cloud-based execution, ensuring that each one of us can access our data and our codes at any point of time. There is a free um, uh, support for the processing of data, ensuring that our RAM is not overburdened. There are pre-installed libraries, seamless integration with Google Drive, GitHub, and there are many built-in collaboration tools. Okay, so uh, this all makes Google Colab an amazing place uh, to be in. And I've, as I mentioned, I've started using it on a daily basis now. So uh, let's get started. As you can see here, uh, when you go into Google and search for Colab, it opens up this link, collabresearchgoogle.com. And um, it allows you to look at any of your notebooks, uh, the old ones or create new ones. So the way to create a new notebook is to just add here, new notebook, right? So it starts creating a new notebook. As I mentioned to you, Colab actually is a collaboration between uh, Jupyter Notebook and Google. So it's very, very much like using a Jupyter Notebook. And it has some of the good features of Google Forms and Google uh, Docs. So here, if I want to just go and say Colab demo. Okay, so this is how I am uh, sh um, saving the name of the book. And if I say locate in drive, it actually will tell me where the Google Colab notebook is located. So incidentally, in your drive, there'll be a, a Colab notebook folder which has got created. And in this folder, you'll be able to see all the notebooks that are created by you. Okay, uh, here is the switch for run. And you can write a, either code or you can write a text or a section header. So let's start over here with a text. Okay, you can see that uh, there are multiple uh, things that you can do. Okay, uh, and, and uh, all you need to do is an enter. Then you just click on uh, code. Uh, now you might say, where is the data? So if I come here, you can see there's a folder. So there is a very good left panel out here, which helps you understand um, or the things which are available. And here I have sample data and then within sample data, there are some existing data sets. However, uh, we want to uh, perhaps add in some datas, right? Uh, and, and therefore, what I want to do is under the content um, uh, folder, I want to upload some data. So I just click here and I say new file. Okay. Now in this, um, I can create a file or I can upload the file as I mentioned to you. Okay. Upload. So south pin codes is the file I want to upload. I say okay. And it says ensures your file is saved elsewhere. Else at the end of the session, you might find that the file gets deleted. So that's perfectly fine. What do I have? I have a header and then I have my file in this content folder, right? South pin codes. Okay. Uh, now, of course, I can go ahead and uh, 
write the code just like we used to write in uh, Jupyter Notebook, starting from import pandas as PD. Right? How do I run the code? I can do Alt Enter or I can click over here. Okay, any of this will work. Right? I can again just add a, a box and start off with the rest of the code. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that uh, we could have done was we could actually uh, connect the Google Colab notebook to our content, which is already existing in our Google Drive. So let's see how we could have done that. Then we don't need to upload any data. So this is a simple code uh, which will help us link the uh, Google Drive to the Colab notebook. So we just press on. It asks us for a permission. We say, yes, connect to Google Drive. So then it asks us which account. Okay. So just go ahead and give the permissions. And you will find that you will be able to access your Google Drive after a minute or two from here. So how do I know if uh, my Google Drive is now available for me? Here. In the content, I can see the drive. When I click on the drive, it will show me what are the options. And here you will notice all the folders of my drive is available, including the Colab notebook folder. If I want to refer to or open up something. Now on the left panel itself, you will see multiple other uh, things that you can do. This is uh, Kaggle. You can connect to Kaggle. There are so many other tools over here. So go ahead, just go ahead Click on everything and see what are the options that you can see. So you can see the command palette over here. So there are some inbuilt uh, commands. Um, so some information about variables if you want to look at inspecting some of your data sets. So all of this is now available for you. Over here too, you will be able to see uh, certain uh, things like if you want to uh, link it uh, to some web data you can do the linking um, you can also uh, mirror a cell so if you do this it will open up the cell over here so all of this is very possible so as i mentioned to you i will request you just go ahead and um, uh, you know click on every button to see what exactly is available in the collab for you under file etc also you will see that a lot of in things you can do, including um, uh, creating a copy, okay, of your code in a, in the drive uh, for backup, okay. Uh, of course, you can um, cut cell, copy cell, paste cell. Um, you know, just just go and see all the very options that you can see. Runtime also, you can see this. Restart the session and run all. Yeah, so. This is this is extremely, extremely useful. So let's see how easy it is to get the data and get started. So the first thing I do is bring the cursor here and say plus code. So I have the code already written. OK, uh, there is the question of the path Okay, uh, that I want to pick up. So this is south pin code. I will just go here, click here. And I'm going to say copy path. It copies the whole thing. Um, and, and then all I need to do is to uh, read in the data and then check out the head of the data. So here you go. Right? 
Now, what do we find? We find that the process is fast, it's simple, and it is very intuitive. So go ahead, use Colab, and uh, do share your feedback on this video and how easy you found it to use Colab.